uh, Ukraine joins NATO. Well, I mean, Putin completely demolished that notion. Um, he also uh, made it absolutely clear that um, his mistrust of the West now has um, become so strong that I don't think he's interested in discussing Ukraine with the West any longer. I mean, he went through the whole story of, you know, the Minsk agreement, all that happened all the way back to 1991 and beyond. And it was all there. And he was very, very angry about it. And the person he was most angry with, by the way, was himself. The he was and, and that was pretty clear from his words, the fact that um, he trusted and believed the West for so long. He openly admitted that he had been outplayed by the West in Ukraine. A pretty astonishing admission, actually. There is no conceivable way, in my opinion, that he's going to go back and sit down with the Americans or the. As this is a book of Waisa Satin. And verse 17, it read, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, uh, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All praise shall not go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kadash, he that will have the elders and apostles of the Son who do well, a peace, a blessing, and a salutation to work and who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven, a being on the forefront of the spiritual war. And to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise he on again as in the days of old so let's, let's, let's listen again to this man let's listen that he had been outplayed had been by the West in Ukraine a pretty astonishing admission actually astonishing there is no conceivable way in my opinion that he's going to go back and sit down with the Americans or the Europeans uh, see so the most shy yeah, yeah. Is stirring up the mid man, and right now, man, they are about the business, man. And uh, basically, what you see, seventeen mean is they ain't gonna be there for business, man. You know, uh, for example, when he, uh, Donald Trump ordered the assassination of uh, Kasem Soleimani, you remember? Back in 2021, the commander of the Iranian cop got assassinated, man. So what Trump did, he he established what uh, we call a diplomatic channel. We call it backdoor diplomatic channel, where... Uh, you know, let's say the Iranian, this is the Iranian, they need certain things. So what you do is, you tell them, well, look, man, if you, you keep quiet about, about the death of Qasem Suleiman, we we'll give you this and that and that. It's like you cut a deal with them, man. That's what they do. They, they call it the back door. A, 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 a diplomacy, man. But the Russian ain't for that, man. Uh, because, hey, man, right now, the American, we are telling uh, uh, President Zelensky to freeze the conflict and uh, to declare it a statement. And the statement is basically there is no winner. And uh, right now, uh, we all know the Russians are winning, man. They are winning, not just winning. They are slaughtering the Ukrainian, man. It's, it's, it's a meat grind over there. How will somebody who is winning come to the negotiating table and, 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 and agree to freeze the conflict? They said because they will cut uh, deals with the Russians that they will lift some sanctions, man. And they will bring them back to the swift. And you know all of those sanctions, the mass of all sanctions, man, <laughs> which failed miserably. The Russian came out and said, look, man, we don't want to make any deal with you. And uh, as you heard from this video, 
the Dulani are saying, man, even Putin came forward, man, Putin came forward and saying, man, it, it is my fault to believe in the West for, for so long, almost 20 years right now, man. And uh, Putin also believed in, in Angela Merkel, man, and that bitch betrayed him, man. That was what you call the Minsk 1, the Minsk 2. And actually, Angela, Angela Merkel came forward and said, man, the Minsk, Minsk 2, we are buying time to, to, to train and fortify Ukraine so that you can, you can join NATO, so that to, to, to provoke Russia, man. So right now, the Russia, they have walked into that, in which that's, that's prophecy, that's the fulfillment of Aida 13 and 17. Uh, behold, I will tie up the media against them. How is the most just tie up the media? The Russian actually they will wake up to the fact that there is no any diplomacy uh, you can come into agreement between them and the West without them breaking it. Man. They are waking up to that fact. So they will not regard silver and gold, man. Let me continue already. Which shall not regard silver and for gold, they shall not die in it. So they, they, they won't be interested in any deal, in any business. They say, not to say, hey, man, you Russian, man, stop fighting over there. It's not the time to fight right now. It is the 21st century, man. You need to chill out. You Russian, you need to chill out and, and, and cut your load and plant your vagina, you see, and, and they will give you some money so over there. And no, they will say, no, man, you, you, we don't want to do that. Actually, the Russians, they are calling this a holy war. You see, so this is not, this is beyond, on all war about, based upon control and natural resources, but this is a little bit more, man. It's about existence. Like that, that dude, the governor of Chechnya, uh, Lamzan Kadilov, he was saying, man, next thing you know, if if we want to fight the West, next thing you know, you are near Moscow, and, 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 and beside you, a Moor is sitting, man. You see, you are worshipping your God, and next, ne, ne, next to you, the light of the left, a Moor is sitting, man, or a transgender is sitting, man. You see, so, and, and these Muslims, they don't want that, man. They don't want their kid to be like that, man. They don't want what they call the Western value. Like the president of Italy, known as, I think, Georgina Meloni or whatever, he said the Muslim culture does not align with Western values. What are Western values? Western value actually is the bachelor, man, and the generalist. That's what Western values are, man. And everybody is waking up to the fact that Western values means death to them, man including Russia. So there is a lot of angles in which the, the, the Moshe is styling the mid, starting with the cultural war which is going on, you see, and, and, and uh, the hypocrisy of the West, of the West when he, uh, you cut a deal with them. Uh, another thing is the fight over research, resources. That's another thing. And uh, even when you go back to, let me get to, the Soviet Union, the Soviet actually, they, they got deceived by America, man. That's, that's how they fell. They got deceived, man. You see? Ezekiel is at 8 and 4, and they will turn the back and put hook in the jaw, and they will bring the force and all the armies, horses and horsemen, all of them closed with the authority of farmers, even the great company with backers and shield, all of them handling sword. So right now, man, Shit, this, this is coming to an end. Everything got an end, man. The American hegemony got an end, man. And it will come to an end very bad, man. It is just to see a strategy of verse 1 to everything. There is a season and a time to every purpose in the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. So right now we are in a time where America will die, man. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. What was was planted, man? The, the, the American Empire, the Empire of Lie, a time to kill, and now we are in the time to kill, a time to heal. We are not in the time to, of course, we are in a time to kill and a time to heal. To heal who? To heal the elect of the nation of Israel. To kill who? The weak. A time to break down, to break down what? Stronghold, to break down empires, man. 
a time to build up, a time to weep. And now it's a time to weep, a time to laugh. You see, why they will be weeping, will be laughing, God willing. A time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones. You see? A time to gather stone together, a time to embrace, and time to refrain from embracing. So it is a duality, man. You see? Why the Mosia will be plucking up the American Empire, he will be planting us, man. Why the Mosia will be killing, he will be healing us. Why the other will be weeping, we will be laughing, man. Why the, the Mosia will be casting away stones, meaning he will dismantle America. We will be gaze, he will be gathering stones, and those stones goes, goes back to the elect, man. You see? So, amen, which is this, I say, Shalom, my eyesight, I thought this was interesting, man. Put in a strong mistrust of the West. It symbolized, man, the Russian ain't gonna regard, the silver ain't gonna regard, the gold. That means they ain't gonna agree to any backdoor channel diplomacy, man, what they call in the geopolitics. You see, so, what is this will lead to? It will lead to your three, man. That's the mantra, that's the mantra, man. Jacob Trouble, what you see, the more he be in the second coming of our Lord and Savior, our shy man, the sons of God. You see, so, amen. With this, I say, shall I hope you brothers were edified onto the next.